NFL Week 3 Anytime Touchdown Props. I'll give you my three favorite plays along with a plus 310 long shot play and a plus 807 pay dirt parlay. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I also have a great promo code to share with you guys towards the end of the video. Save you some money on an NFL season pass. But for now, if you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel. Let us know in the comments section who you got scoring in week three. So guys, I got to apologize up front if there's any background noise. I'm having some work done on my roof. They were just working right above me. There isn't too much I can do about it, but we'll uh, work through it with this video. So last week's recap... We went one for three, unfortunately, after a sweep in week one. Derrick Henry gets the job done for us. Unfortunately, Jonathan Taylor and Isaiah Pacheco were unable to find their way into the end zone. However, we're going to go right back to Jonathan Taylor this week at minus 125 over at DK. He has scored in eight of his last 12 games. Now, last week, he had 135 all-purpose yards in the first three quarters. And then Colts play caller Shane Steichen decided to not play him in the fourth quarter, stating that they were in passing situations. I think he regrets it, especially that third and one call where uh, Trey Sermon ran for a four-yard loss. So I think this week we can expect the Colts to, to make it a priority to get the ball into Taylor's hands again. I couldn't expect him uh, to be more motivated in this situation, even though he did support uh, his offensive coordinator. They are facing a tough Bears defense, but they did allow uh, Pollard into the end zone in week one. In week two, uh, Mixon was dealing with some injuries in the third quarter. So let's go with Jonathan Taylor right out of the gate. He failed us last week. Let's make him our first play for this week. Number two on the list, we're going to go with a plus 185, Lamar Jackson. He has not scored yet this season, despite running for 167 yards in the first two games. Now he faces a Cowboys rush defense that has allowed the most rushing touchdowns with five on the season. They're allowing over 140 yards per game, and they have really struggled uh, in the red zone. In week one, they let the Browns score on both of their uh, red zone uh, trips, and then last week, the Saints scored in four of five of their red red zone possession. So uh, if the Ravens get close to this end zone here, we know obviously Lamar can run. We could go back to Derrick Henry here, but he does have that minus 170 price tag. We cashed on him last week. I think he could look his way again this week, but I just love the value uh, in this plus 185 on Lamar Jackson. We know the Ravens are 0-2, and we could see their quarterback, the reigning MVP, uh, take this game upon himself. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, probably, that's going to end up uh, with the Ravens needing to... They need this victory, just like the Cowboys do. But Lamar Jackson at plus 185. I like him to score in Week 2. Number 3 on our list, we're going to go David Montgomery, minus 130. So he scored in both games so far this season with 11 and 17 carries. Makes him 7 for 80. Scored in 7 of his last eight games. Great track record on Monty. This game features the highest total of the week at 51 and a half. And this is still a bad Arizona defense. They allowed the most rushing yards per game last season. They let Kyron Williams uh, score against them last week despite holding the Rams to 10 points. Let's look for Monty. We know he's the red zone uh, running back for the Lions. So let's look at Monty here at minus 130. So then we'll wrap up all three of those guys. Taylor, Jackson, Montgomery, to totals up to plus 807 over at DK. That plus 185 on Lamar Jackson uh, really boosts the value. We were around 600 and then 500 on our pay dirt parlays in the first two weeks of the NFL. Long shot play if you're looking for one. I think we go with uh, Brenton Strange from the Jacksonville Jaguars. So Evan Ingram... They're uh, starting to their number one tight end, I should say. Looks like he's trending towards not playing again after missing week two. He hasn't practiced. He missed practice on Thursday. And in week two, we saw Strange have the second most targets with six and the second most yards with 65 on the Jaguars. We know the Bills' uh, middle-of-the-field defense uh, is still weakened without Matt Milano out there. And I think uh, the Bills could be preoccupied 
with some deep passes to Brian Thomas and uh, Gabe, Gabe Davis. So I think that we could see Strange sneak into the end zone here, especially it looks like Ingram isn't going to play most likely. Plus 310, I think Ingram would be in the 200s if he were to play, and he had a great game last week. So let's go with some Strange on the plus 310. Long shot play. So guys, those are our plays for week three. And if you use the promo code NFL50, gets you $50 off an NFL season pass. That's NFL50. And if you use the code FBALL100, F-B-A-L-L-1-0-0, it'll get you $100 off a college football and NFL combo season pass. And there's also the CFB50, where if you wanted to get $50 off a college football season pass, my college football play of the week is going up um, today. I'm, I'm recording this video on Friday, and the play will be going up. We have a 5% NFL play. I'm in action in the MLB. Uh, there's always a link to my Sports Memo page in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted at Sports Memo and at X at Steve's Book 22. Good luck, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button on the way out. I'll see you for week four. Hopefully, we're busting out the sweep on Taylor, Montgomery, and Lamar Jackson. Good luck, guys.